Welcome guys. So in this video, uh, let's talk about uh, the impl uh, implication of the Schurz algorithm in a complexity class. Okay, so let's say. Okay, so some let's review some old school results. So classical results is that uh, people define p called polynomial time is a set of decision problems which, which can be solved in polynomial time. Okay, so be a, by a classical computer or uh, the simple Turing machine. And there's a P called non-deterministic polynomial time. It means that the set of the problem L, the set of decision problem you give given X, then one can verify L X is true in polynomial time. So basically uh, each, uh, uh, maybe most of the problem is in NP. So factoring is NP, uh, graph isomorphism is in NP. So many problems is in NP, okay. So uh, there's a thing called the NP complete problem. Basically you can view it's the difficult, the most difficult problem in NP. And uh, each, if you can solve NP complete problem, then the so you can solve NP. So well, there are many. Oh, there are also many NP very famous NPC problem like the three sets. Uh, the troubles. Uh, the traveling salesperson and the uh, Hamiltonian graph. Uh, sorry, the Hamiltonian cycle. Okay, and uh, <coughs> yeah. So this is a classical result. Okay, then there's a thing called the BQP. Uh, basically, it's defined to be the the quantum computer uh, analog of its polynomial time. This is a called the collection of the decision problem uh, can be solved by a quantum computer in the polynomial time with certain error. So this is called a bounded error quantum polynomial time. So it's BQP. Okay, so from this we know that by Schurz algorithm we know that factoring belongs to BQP. Okay. So now let's see uh, some different uh, some open problem and uh, some fact. Okay, so the first fact is that we uh, from the classical uh, complexity theory, we know that P is a subset of NP. Uh, this is the subset of the P space. So P space means that you can use the arbitrary polynomial uh, size of the memory. And XP means that exponential time. So XP means the decision problem can be solved in the exponential time. So obvious that uh, P is P is less than XP and P is less uh, subset of NP and P is a P space. So to prove there's only non the only non-trivial is that proving NP is subset of P space. Yeah, but this is not our, our, our purpose in this lecture. So uh so I I plenty I also want to do some complexity theory uh, in the future to prove some uh I some idea to give some idea of how to prove this. And uh, from the Cantor theorem or the Turing's argument, one can prove that uh, P is strictly less than XP. Okay, so and the third is that from Schurz, which we know that factoring belongs to BQP, right? So, uh, so one can guess that uh, one can ask whether P is strictly less than BQP. So this is very important uh, uh, aspect that uh, whether a uh, quantum computer actually better than a classical computer in a bounded uh, in a uh, in the sense of their complexity class are diff are uh, separate. But the reason is that factoring belongs to P or not is not it's still open. Okay. And also NP and BQP relations are unknown. So it looks like we, we haven't seen anything concrete. Okay. But uh, there's a famous bound that called the uh, uh, Burston Vazarani. Basically the BQP is strictly uh, uh sorry, BQP is can at most be P space. So BQP is less than a P space. Also also factoring is in NP. Okay. And the one can also prove that the factoring is in co MP. And the reason is that, uh, right, so if you can prove that something is, uh, if you can prove that something is, uh, it's, it, if we want to show one integer is another, uh, divides another integer, just divided. And if we want to show it's not just divided. So there's, so the, so factoring has some natural, uh, has some natural, uh, the the problem has the natural property that uh, is always NP and co-NP. 
Okay, so the possible phase diagram looks like uh, this is P B Q P. So this is a little bit spooky. Yeah, and then this green is N P, and uh, some problem is called N P C. And uh, this is the red is N P hard, and uh, the this large is P space. Okay, so uh, because w no one can prove that P is not equal to N P, so all these diagrams are looks just temporary. So there's a uh, a mere a uh, very small chance that all of it should be the same. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's uh, talk some uh, the, some further uh, implication. Okay, so question is that the first is that uh, people want to ask. So this is very uh, interesting. Whether BQP cover NP complete, right? The reason is that we don't know. Okay, but if P equals NP, then uh, then sure, then this is correct. Okay, so if let's assume that the uh, the answer is no. Okay, so if uh, if BQP is not if it's not the uh, cover NPC, that means BQP is not NP. It's, it can street. So that means NP is not strictly containing BQP. Then the, you will have the very famous implication is that P is not equal to NP. The reason is that, uh, uh, right, since P is here. So <laughs> P is strictly less than NP, and, but, the, but the BQP always cover P, right? So by definition, we know that the uh, uh, I haven't write this reason. Oh, okay. Because we we have this result, so we always have BQP uh less less than P space and BQP cover P. Okay, so oh, it's this one, right? So if BQP can not solve NP complete, that implies that would implies famous P is not equal to NP because BQP always contain P, right? So if NP do not contain uh, do not all do not contain the BQP, then it will directly imply P is not as P is not equal to NP. Okay, conversely, uh, also what you you can ask that uh, is BQP uh contain NP. Uh, the answer is uh, we don't know. Okay. Uh, but we know that at least uh BQP is uh strictly less than P space. Uh, sorry, is a uh, subset of P space. Okay. So if factoring, let's say if someone is smart enough to prove factoring is not in P, then it's obvious that P is not equal to NP. The reason is that uh, uh, factoring is in NP, right? So P is not the same as NP, it's not equal to NP. And then this would imply that the P, this would also imply that P is not uh, strictly contained. Oh, okay, so I, so I should say that. The P is strictly contained in BQP. So there's no equality here. The reason is that the uh, factoring in BQP, but now factoring is not in P. Okay, and this is also famous. If someone can directly prove that uh, P is less, less or equal to BQP, then one would immediately get the P is not the same as P space. So this also solves the important problem. So you see that there's somehow like the, the bounding quantum. So if the bounding error quantum polynomial time is like a sandwich, it's like a sandwich between all these complexity class. So if anyone can prove that the, the quantum computer in a complexity way or in a mathematical way actually performs better than the classical computer then the one can solve very one can solve many uh, interesting problems and I can I can also talk about a little bit why uh, why people believe factor so so one 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 may just directly ask that is factoring a NP complete problem right because if factoring is the NP complete problem then then BQP <laughs> will cover NP complete, right? Then, uh, so it has a chance that maybe P equals NP, right? But the idea is that the uh, factoring, uh, why people do not believe factoring belongs to NP complete is that the uh, factoring is actually also in the code NP. So, if factoring, it turns out that if factoring belongs, become NP complete, then code NP will equal to NP. Then, uh, the, then the polynomial hierarchy will collapse in, in into some level. So this is also, uh, conjecture that the uh, factoring cannot be uh, NP complete. So that's why uh, that's why this is the most. I think most computer scientists or most theoretical computer scientists belong uh, believe believe this is the actual uh, possible complexity diagram. Although no one can prove anything. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.